Let's talk about the LOX 2.0 grip socks. Starting off with the price, I got these off Amazon and they cost around £12.97. Now the LOX 2.0 is supposed to be an improved version of the LOX 1.0 which I have in my right hand. And looking at both socks, it looks like LOX have made a few changes to the appearance and the overall technology used in the socks. At its core, it's pretty much your usual kind of sports sock. You've got your moisture wicking material, your kind of arch support and a bit of compression as well as the grips which we will go into. So onto the grips, it's pretty much like the previous version where you have grips on the outside of the sock and other grips on the inside of the sock so you get maximum traction. However, the shape of the grips has changed on the old one you have these kind of like square rectangular pads. On the newer version you have these kind of like um, smaller kind of diamond crocodile tube shaped kind of grips. I guess that's so it kind of covers a bit more surface area so there's more kind of contact area so there's more grip in that sense. Another thing is that they've removed the grips on the arch of the sock compared to the previous version. Lux have said that is to make sure there is no blisters. So I'm not sure how some people work, but I never had the issue with the previous version in terms of blisters in the midfoot. Um, so, and I didn't have any issues with this one as well. They also have this kind of reinforced toe area, which is also on the previous version and that's for the longevity of the sock itself. So a problem with a lot of socks is that they won't last long because you know it's quite thin around the toe area. Now one of the things that people asked a lot for with the newer version of the sock was grips on the heel and locks have delivered and actually done that this time you know. That's pretty much one of the biggest neglected parts in a lot of grip socks. A lot of grip socks you will find one have grips on the heel so there will be some heel slippage. Well this one they have grips on the heel so that is trying to make sure there's absolutely zero slippage in your boots. Another thing is like the leg of the sock is seemingly a bit longer. I don't know why they've done that um i guess maybe it's for comfort but it's they said on the kind of advert is for more coverage i don't really see the extra advantage of this but they've added it anyway now on to comfort this is what the lux 2.0 grip socks look like on feet and in terms of comfort they're very comfortable they're just like your usual football sp sports sock i guess they're a bit more comfortable than the previous version i guess that's because there's not too much grip so even though there's grips on the inside and outside it's not as you know noticeable as it was on the previous version so but overall a very comfortable sock so for this one i kind of have two pairs of socks on so i've got the locks 2.0 grip socks on my right foot and on my left foot i've got a normal pair of football socks this is pretty much just to compare the kind of lockdown and kind of underfoot traction i get from the locks 2.0 compared to a normal football sock and in terms of performance of lockdown yeah you can definitely feel a difference it's not like mind-blowingly different but there's definitely a different in terms of these boots there's a bit of heel slippage with the football sock but in terms of the locks 2.0 you can definitely feel that there's a reduction on the kind of heel slippage there is still some heel slippage but it's not to the point where it would distract you in a game and here i am doing the exact same thing but i'm comparing the locks 1 to the locks 2 this time around in terms of lockdown and traction i would say that the newer version doesn't perform as well as the previous version but not to the point where it's like a total and utter downgrade it's just that the traction and the pads you don't feel as much but overall i still would say that it does offer a good amount of grip now since i can't put a camera on my boots this is the next best thing this is going to be the insole slide test which i do to give you an idea of how grippy the actual grip socks are so take this test with a pinch of salt because it's not necessarily the most accurate thing in the world but as you can see it performs much better than a normal football sock now this is me comparing the first generation to the second generation again and I would say, as you can see, the grips on the second generation, they're not as strong as on the previous generation, but it still offers a good amount of grip, just not to the point where it's almost stuck to your foot like with the previous generation, which isn't for everyone, in my honest opinion, but for me, I didn't mind it on either one, but overall, it still offers a good amount of grip, but just not to the point or as good as on the previous generation of the LOX grip socks. Overall, these are a very good pair of grip socks, I must say. They are a improvement on the previous version in terms of comfort, um, maybe not so in terms of traction. The attraction on this is a little less aggressive, but that's in terms of actually feeling it. In terms of when you're actually wearing them, um, you don't necessarily feel the grips as much as with the previous version, which a lot of people will like. Me, I'm, I'm not too fast. But yeah, great value for money grip socks. I definitely recommend them. Um, so yeah. Like I said, they're from Amazon, they're only £12.97, so they're pretty much on the kind of cheaper side when it comes to grip socks. 
but overall a very solid pair of, of rib socks and that's pretty much been it for the video guys if you thought the video was sublime like the video if for your support still like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment down below which grip socks you'd like me to review next and like i always say at the end of these videos my name is sub this has been substance football thank you for watching peace out